Hi, I'm Jane Esselstyn. I'm Ann Esselstyn. And I'm so excited because we're making brownies today. <laughs> Out of sight brownies. And I think my favorite part of making brownies is the brownie batter. Batter. The oh brownie batter. I will just eat it out of the bowl. And whenever I make it and my mom's around, she and I just sort of like, it starts with a little like fingertip and then it goes to like the finger and then you and get then a spoon. And then we both have spoons. And then you, we have a little bit of brownie batter left to bake the brownies. But anyway, we're doing this um, recipe in Be a Plant Based Woman Warrior. My on fair, favorite part though page is two when 97. Jane was creating these, it was during COVID. And we and that we were my husband and I would be sitting watching TV next door we, next door we live next door, and I'd hear this our door <clears throat> rattle, and it would be Jane with another brownie to try, and how many times did you do these brownies? This is like ten or eleven. I mean, so we had days after days. You poor dears. Brownies, <laughs> and we don't ever have dessert, so it was like feasting. Yeah, it was, it, brownies. it was great to work on brownies. So um, this recipe is a little different than some of our other recipes because we start with baker's chocolate. So get a baker's chocolate that you that you like or trust. Some people like to have 100% dark. Some people like semi-sweet. Some people like unsweetened. I don't even understand the difference between some of these things. I do want to encourage everyone to try to use chocolate companies that don't use... Um, they don't exploit their laborers. They don't have some slave labor. And there, we just recently saw a documentary about the chocolate industry and how much is slave labor and I'm 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 pumping the brakes on how much chocolate they eat and whose chocolate I get I don't think I've gotten it right here today all the way I'm still trying to get rid of all the stores of things that maybe are not on that list anyway let's start making brownies in the background because it takes a few minutes to cook I'm gonna have Wade take a peek at our we don't have a double boiler so I simply have as you can see here is a pan of water, for those of you who don't have double, a pan of water that's boiling, and I'm floating my smaller pan in it, and it's melting the chocolate, baker's chocolate, to awe, uh, it's almost perfect. This baker's chocolate gets a huge spatula. Yeah, doesn't that beautiful? Um, okay, so that's, I'm gonna keep that, keep that on low, because well, that's good, we've got that going. And right here, we have, this was, three tablespoons, if you can sneak in there, Wade, three tablespoons of flaxseed meal with uh, some water in there to, to get, get it to be nice and soaked. It's kind of like, it has the texture of almost, it's a, I, people say it's like a fake egg. I don't think it's like a fake egg. I think it's just, it's, it's moisture. It's gelatinous. It's gelatinous, which is such a, bleh, I don't know if that's a favorite <laughs> word, but it is gelatinous. That's what we want. So, what we're going to do first, however, is, um, you know, brownies always have a foundation of like that uh, butter and sugar. Um, so we're going to make our sort of a walnut butter. So it's going to be a cup of walnuts and then some water. And I'm just going to stir this around until it's, you can hear me on my microphone. Just We stir this around until it kind of becomes um, a, its own sort of clump some little lump of stuff and butter itself I was I was curious last night I was like how much how much like nutrients is in butter itself and butter is pretty much like point like real butter like cow's milk butter is 100% fat and ooh, and it has like no fiber it has no protein it has no vitamins and I looked up walnut butter knowing that we were using this and it's got like so I think 17% of your protein, not that we're counting protein necessarily, but it's got protein, it's got fiber, it's got vitamin C, um, vi uh, another vitamin, I'm not gonna say D, because that's the sun. Um, anyway, it's got so much more to it. Um, and I mean, ha-cha-cha. So m making our little uh, walnut butter. What is your goal here? I just wanted to, uh, sorry, I'm, just, I'm chatting. Um, just, it's kind of, way look at the texture here. It's kind of, it's not in, in it's getting pasty into a clump, just like that. It's not in big little like pea-sized pieces of walnut all over the place because those, those need to break down so that you can have a smooth. You can just go with like a, a chunkier um, walnut chunks in your brownie, but I like to add those as real walnut pieces. Okay, so that's, that's my goal. Thank you for asking my goal. I kept doing that and kept chatting. So now that we've got this um, 
and, and the food processor, we blend the walnuts until they become lumpy, uh, like kind of like a hummusy texture. That's what we say here in the book. Now we're going to add the flaxseed meal. Oh, this. Uh, now I get to work. Sorry. I know I've been chatting about chocolate and. You don't need to scrape that. Yeah. We're going to add the flaxseed meal, and then we're going to add, hold on, Ann, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I want you to talk about it, because I think the next thing we're going to add, I've lost, I've lost where we are. Flaxseed meal, the maple syrup, we need to have maple syrup, we need to have um, one and a quarter cup. Ooh, here, I'll fill this up, and, and this up, perfect. Jeez. Yeah. Wow. That's up. It's okay. This is good. This is yummy. You have a lot of stuff. To the top, 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 top. To the top, 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 Anne. A Anne is not willing to top off the amount of maple syrup needed. Okay. And, all right, in we go. So, maple syrup in and after the maple syrup. Woohoo! Um, add vanilla, and then we're going to throw up. So, the vanilla, Anne just got this yesterday. My, my daughter-in-law daughter gave this to me, and I am so excited to use it. What is it? it? This is pure vanilla paste. And she said you can do it one for one, and I cannot wait. At one for one as, how, we, as how you would use okay, it. You, it's unbelievable. I mean, I love vanilla. Do you know how much you need? I'm, a teaspoon. Two. Oh, I'm so thrilled. This is going to be the best experiment oh. on this. <laughs> experiment? This is a recipe that we've tested dozen no, plus no, no. times. No, no, no. Experiment for, the, for vanilla because vanilla is so delicious. Yes. Okay. We're going to blend this. So now to this. So this is like the butter-sugar combo uh, and vanilla in your... Um, in your old school brownie recipe, and it looks like it, kind of smells like it, and um, I'm gonna give it another twirl. I want it all mixed. I want to get it all mixed in. Thank you. So look at that top shot. We can just oh, there's a little that little walnut butter was stuck on the side, but you got it. How do I get to put cocoa in? I, I want to get that one clump of walnut butter. There's, it was stuck on the wall back here, hiding from me. I'm going to dry that out because I think we need to get... Oh, no, we need a half a teaspoon. Sorry, it's okay. You can you don't have to do it, Mom. All right, so now that we have this sort of butter, sugar, vanilla... Oh, it smells great. The vanilla is strong in there. Um, okay, now we're going to add the half chocolate cocoa... Chocolate cocoa, yeah. Go ahead and add that. Ah. And now I'm going to add the melted baker's chocolate to the mix. And Sorry. how about if you can't see half a teaspoon of baking soda? Can, can you hold on? I'm, I'm focused on my. I, I can't. I can hardly wait <laughs> for my baking soda. No. Um, I just want to get it all in here because this is the. This is the chocolate of the, this is the chocolate power to our brownies. I look at, I got another half teaspoon there and another maybe quarter teaspoon there. Okay, so, oh, it's still warm, wow. So we've got in here our flaxseed meal, our walnuts, our maple syrup, our vanilla, our baking chocolate, our cocoa powder. Now we're going to add a cup of oat flour and a, ha and a half a teaspoon of baking soda. Ah, I'm ready with the baking soda. Oh, this is one and a half cups. This is my one and a half cup measurement. I know by the handle. So I'm going to remove a half a cup from here. This is like a math problem all of a sudden. And one third cup, no way. Here's a little half cup. So I'm going to take out half a cup of this to reduce it to the um, to its one cup size. There we go. We were trying to prepare ahead, and we were over prepared. Okay, so that's half. Let me put that back in there. Thank you. One cup in it goes. If you are using salt, go ahead and pinch them in there if you want. We're going to not bother. Uh, all right. 
We have some variations we suggest with this recipe. And my mom and I both, my mom and I both love uh, mint chocolate. Brian, my husband, my love, my dear, does not like mint. <laughs> he thinks it's a grandma flavor. And neither does, who, someone else doesn't like it. John, John Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald. John Fitzgerald. And um, it was, the, the plant bros don't like mint. <laughs> um, but if you want minty brownie, choc mint chocolate brownies, um, stir in about, we suggest a quarter teaspoon <clears throat> of mint uh, extract, like, which, is like, wall, which is like vanilla extract. Put it in there, yum yum. Or if you want to add some other stuff to your brownies, you can add things like, oh, we're going to use that. Mm. Got her looking. Just clean it up. Thank you. Um, okay. I think we're going to use, this is a little bit large for our brownies, but the one I usually use is this one, and our brownies are already in here. I'm not going to show just yet, but we're going to go with um, this size container and pour it in. We could put, do we, do we want to be a little daring, you guys? Should we put like uh, dried cherries and, um, and walnuts in our brownies? No. I think it sounds great. What do you think? It sounds amazing. It sounds amazing to Wade. Why do you say no? I don't know. I like it the way it comes out. <clears throat> <clears throat> can you put that in there? I'm going to go get some cherries and some brown. You can add chocolate chips. You can add all kinds of stuff. Brian and John are the only people in the whole world I've ever heard of who don't like mint. Oh, plenty of people don't like mint. It's like toothpaste to them. Like, why would you want toothpaste flavored dessert? I get it. I would, order, like that. I would like to add mint. Okie doke. Now, here are some, these are some dried cherries. Let's cut them in half, eh? Can you grab one of the good sharp knives from Cindy? Oh, yeah, perfect. Let's just have those. And <clears throat> I also think we're going to add a few walnut pieces. But first, oh, their favorite stage of the game. Our favorite stage of the game. The raw, the raw, the raw, the raw wa batter itself. Anne? I'm too busy. Mm. Wade, do you like raw batter? Yeah. Good Tell nice. me if you don't like that. Mommy, here, try some. Oh, yeah. Isn't that good? Okay, I just got a cup of that. Go, 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 go. In it goes. You want just to have a cup of that? <laughs> like a little Ooh. shot? Yeah. yeah, I like it too. So I'm going to add walnuts to it. Uh, Why? You don't no. like walnuts in your brownies? You have chocolate all over your mouth now, sorry. Mm. <laughs> I'm adding some extra walnuts. You don't have to, but I just think it sounds good. This is probably... It's just like three little hand, well, we're down to three, but tiny, tiny, three tiny handfuls. I'm going to pulse this to stir them around. Just one. Oh, ah, that's enough. And these are dried cherries, and we'll fly in what these are. Um, these are by a great company called Sunrise Fresh, and they're dried fruit without any added sugar or any added oil, which means they clump together nicely. You have to just pull them apart. Thank you, it's beautifully done. Mm. Beautifully done. Chocolate, wa cherry, walnut. Okay, here we go. And then once you get this um, in your pan, you cook it in the oven at 350, I like to cook it for about 45 minutes. In our book, we suggest 35 to 40. It depends on the depth of your pan, the heat of your oven. Everyone's, a, everyone ha, everybody, all ovens have their own personality. So how do you know, Jane, when it's ready? You, when you, well, Use the center of it is not, no, the center of it is not g g like just goop. Let it cool and it's, uh, I, I, we have a sample. We cook them ahead of time. So I have a sample Actually, we have two samples that we made ahead of time. I wonder why I was so willing to make two, 
two sets of extra brownies. Um, okay, so. I'm and, salivating. I know, doesn't, doesn't this look great? Um, <clears throat> we're just getting all the yummy yum out. So if you wanna bother trying to get more out, you can. I'm gonna throw these in the oven. So this is what they look like. How's it look? Wait, doesn't that look yummy? Mm -hmm. It's just about to go in and it, it's going to go in and um, when it comes out, this is what it's going to look like. I'm going to clear the deck here for a sec because what it looks like is so inspiring. It um, looks like real brownies. It even has that brownie like, you know how brownies have a layer of uh, like crispy. Or not, even, not crisp, but just like a, it's like a, not a it's not a skin. Are you, are you done getting everything out of there? Oh, I'm I, I know, you're welcome to, to, to give up. I've, I'm done. But it's, um, it has like a cracked layer, a layer of crackle on top. And I, so we don't have to cut into those because those are so beautiful. We made some last night, and this is what I'm talking about, that like crack layer mm -hmm. on top. Brian and I had this last night. We thought we were both going to have one, but we both had one and a half. Um, and it's, it's uh, I don't know what causes that, this little, that layer. But it's delicious. We cleared the deck. We put the brownies in the oven so the chocolate walnut cherry brownies are cooking. And we cut some more from the brownies we had last night. And these we still haven't touched yet because they're just like our little hero model brownies. But we're all going to taste them now. Wade, give it a whirl. Here, here's your fork. Grab it. And, and we put the raspberries down with them because it just not just looks so good, but also whenever you eat food, Whenever you eat a meal or food, <clears throat> it's great to have some sort of vitamin C with it because it helps you pull iron out of your, out of your blood. It helps with any sort of anemia if that's an issue. Um, so what's the comment? It's, I know they're not warm. They're from last night. But you know what? They taste like brownie. They taste almost as good as the batter. <laughs> yeah, it tastes delicious. Mm. Mm. Amazing. Brownies have a chewiness. You know what? That I love. You know why these are so good? Why are they so good? I know they're, why they're so good. A raspberry? No, because they have those two kinds of chocolate. Oh, the cocoa and the baker's? Mm-hmm. Mm. I think... The vanilla! We don't taste that in this one, though. Oh! <laughs> well, I, oh, dear. We'll taste it in the next one. But we have mm. two other pans to get through until then. All right, <clears throat> you guys, these out-of-sight brownies Oh. I can't wait to be in your oven and your mm. mouth. So let us know. Oh, my God. I've got Josh chocolate sticking on my teeth. I can feel it. Oh. I feel like I'm saying goodbye. So. <laughs> like toothless. Here you go. Wait, so how's amazing. this look? Thank you. <laughs> I'm going to end up with a raspberry. Mm. All right. Thank you so much. Tell us, let, tell, let us know what you put in your combination with your out-of-sight brownies. All right. Mm. See you later. Bye.